Hello folks, this is Mike and welcome to our channel. Do you know anyone who actually enjoys cleaning a dirty shower with mold and mildew, soap scum, and hard water stains? I know you can't include me in that category, but what if I were to tell you that you can clean your shower in a fraction of the time, spick and span, using your power drill? Would you be interested? If so, stay tuned and I'll show you how. Several weeks ago, I walked into my master bathroom and I found the love of my life on her hands and knees with a little plastic scraper and a scrub brush trying to clean hard water stains off the shower floor. And indeed, she told me that sometimes she spends two or three days just cleaning the shower. And I told her, honey, there's got to be a better way to do this. Couldn't we do it with power tools? And what did you tell me, camera woman? If it's done with power tools... It's your job. <laughs> I should have just kept my mouth shut, shouldn't I? A number of years ago, she decided that the vacuum cleaner was a power tool, and I've been doing floors ever since. This dark crescent-shaped area is what she was working on. And it's a combination of minerals found in hard water, dirt, soap scum, you name it. <laughs> and it's a real problem to get off. And the other problem is just general mold and mildew in the grout lines. So we just need to develop a strategy to remove this stuff. So I took the problem in hand and I went online and I did some searching and I found these brushes at Amazon.com. And they're from a company called DrillBrush.com. And we'll put a link in the video description in case you want to purchase this. Now, this company makes brushes in a variety of colors, as you'll notice, for different applications. The yellow brushes are for shower and bathroom work. And they're great for hard surfaces like tile, porcelain, or your glass shower door, for instance. Now, I don't know that I would use these on marble. Marble's a softer stone. And these are stiff brushes, and they just might scratch the surface some. So I would go slowly there. Now, each brush features this hex head shaft on the back, and it's got an end in it. And this will work not only in your cordless drill, but it will also work in an impact driver. Or you can use a quick connect adapter like I've used here. And during the course of the video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, each brush that comes in the set. All three of these come in one set. I started with the shower walls and before applying a cleaning product I used the shower nozzle to wet down the surfaces. I sprayed the cleaner on the wall and let it set for five or ten minutes and then I remisted the wall again. Now I only have mildew and tougher stains closer to the floor so I decided just to try a couple of general household cleaners on the walls. And I used a crud cutter and Clorox cleanup. And for general cleaning, both of these products work just fine in combination with the brushes. For the flat surfaces of the wall, and this makes sense, <laughs> I'm going to use the 4 inch wide flat brush. Be sure to cover all of the wall making numerous overlapping strokes. And you can also turn the brush at an angle to better clean the grout lines. For hard to get to areas like corners or for rounded surfaces like maybe your bathtub, this one is the brush to use. These bristles are a little more flexible than the others and you can just get them into areas that the flat brushes just won't go. For stubborn areas, uh, the two inch brush with the stiff bristles is the one to use. There was a little bit of mildew along the edges of my seat and I was having trouble getting that off and this one worked perfectly. And it'll work good for any stubborn grout area. I worked one wall at a time and made sure I rinsed each wall really well when I was done. Be sure to remove your drill from the shower area while you're rinsing. Remember that water and electricity just do not mix. Even a cordless drill can give you a shocking experience, trust me. Now the brushes won't hurt your comb faucets or shower heads or your glass shower door for that matter. And they'll do a really good job of cleaning them. But when it came to the mold and mildew removal, I decided to get something stronger. So I switched over to the toilet bowl cleaner, which contains bleach. Now remember that mold and mildew are living organisms and the bleach will kill them as well as clean them up. 
And one nice thing about the toilet bowl cleaner is that it's a gel and it clings to the wall. So I dabbed it along the grout lines and let it sit for about 10 minutes before I put the brush to it. And this pretty much did the trick. I had to come back after I rinsed it off and there was a couple of small areas that needed a little bit more. Uh, but it will do the job. All told, it took less than an hour total to clean the walls, and that included the time for the cleaner to set up on the walls. So that was fairly easy. But what I was really dreading was addressing the hard water stains on the floor. So I sectioned off the shower floor, and I tried a different cleaner in each section. I started with the crud cutter and the Clorox cleanup, each in their own section, of course and tried using the four inch flat brush. Uh, now this didn't work. Even though I put my weight on the brush, it was just simply too slow a process and it was only marginally successful. I switched over to the two inch brush and look at the difference. As you can see, the scum is being removed. Success depends more on the selection of the proper brush and equipment, I think, than the type of cleaner. And of course, the use of some elbow grease. While the household cleaners will work with enough time and effort, there is a better way. The best and most effective cleaner we found required a two-step process. First, I coated the shower floor with a powdered cleanser like Comet or Ajax. And next, we sprayed on a homemade vinegar formula and let it sit for about a half an hour. I'll display the ingredients of that solution on the screen. Now it's important to note here that this is a diluted solution and we didn't have a problem with uh, toxic fumes. Normally bleach and vinegar in higher concentrations can react with each other. If you're going to use straight vinegar, I would sprinkle baking soda directly on the floor first instead of the comet and then spray it with the straight vinegar. Uh, this is also a very effective cleaning combination. I used my two inch brush to stiff one and really bared down on the tiles. The problem with the solution was that it completely covered the floor and was very opaque and I had trouble making sure I had covered everything with the brush. And sure enough, when we rinsed it off, we discovered several spots that I'd missed and we had to repeat the process. And while we were at it, we went ahead and retreated some areas in the other sections of the shower that needed some work. So now let's rinse the floor and look at that. We've got a clean shower. Now you'll notice that the floor may look spotty in places with those brown splotches, but that's actually part of the tile pattern and, and we'll never get that out. So let's let the shower floor dry out and then we'll look at our before picture and our after picture. And you can tell there's quite a difference, isn't there? Now if you're doing your shower by hand, your selection of a cleaner, whether it's store-bought or a homemade formula, is much more important. Using these power brushes, you're really going to cut down on the amount of time you spend actually working in the shower. So the choice of the cleaner is not quite as important. If it hadn't been for all of my experimenting, I could have knocked this shower out in about two hours, even including the wait time on the chemicals. Now, if you have a dynamite homemade recipe for a cleaner, be sure to send that to me in the form of a comment. Uh, next time I do this, and I think I'm stuck with the job, I would like to try some new things. And if I find something really, really effective, I think we'll make another video. Maybe call it Shower Cleaning the Sequel. <laughs> and I'll give you credit for your formula. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you've gotten something from it. If so, please go below and like our video, and be sure to hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. <laughs> and until next time, thanks for watching.